Hello, Faith Christian Center. God bless you on this Monday morning, the day after Easter. Yesterday was such a glorious day. A beautiful sunshine was out, promise of spring as it was warming up. And those of us that were able to gather at churches in our cars, and we stayed in our cars, uh, we had a wonderful time. I preached from the top of the jungle gym. It was a unique experience, and it was just a glorious time. And today, it's not so beautiful outdoors, but Jesus still shines. He shines in our hearts, and he is still at work in our lives, and he's still at work in this world. I want to encourage you uh, about prayer, the importance of prayer. And I think the church, in fact, I know the church in the United States and our church too, we've really not relied enough on prayer. And I think that's because we've just had enough on our own. We think we can do things on our own and, and we have a lot of resources that we can use and we, we try to make our own plans. But the Bible is so clear that nothing is done without prayer. And the greatest lesson, of course, that is Jesus himself. Jesus, the Son of God, the Jesus, the righteous Son of God, Jesus, the Messiah, spent so much time in prayer. He spent time in prayer getting wisdom. He spent time in prayer preparing for things. And even as he came down to that very last night, that, that terrible thing he was going through on Good Friday, he spent time in serious prayer, just submitting himself to God's will. And right now, when so many of us are at home, and with our families, it's a great time to begin to develop some prayer habits and to begin to emphasize on prayer. And if you're not confident in your prayer life, if you're not confident, in fact, most, the reason most people don't pray more is they're really not confident it's going to do much, have much results. And I know in my life, I've struggled with it. I've been a studier of the Word. I love studying the Word. I love teaching the Word. But probably the weakest area of my life is, is prayer. And I've had to realize it's because I've really not had confidence that God's hearing my prayer. And I'm embarrassed to admit that, but I've had to be honest with God and honest with myself about it. And really the foundation of our relationship with God is our prayer life. And that does start with being honest with him. And that starts with being honest with ourselves. So I think to begin this week's talk about prayer, identify where you are. Be honest with yourself and say, you know, prayer is just not that vital a thing. Or maybe you look at prayer and say, you know what? It's a burden. I really, I need, I know I need to do it more, but I just, it's not, I don't get that much out of it. Wherever you are, the beginning is to face and say, this is where I am. Holy Spirit, help me realize where I am. Because I want to tell you, God knows where you are already. When you find out where you are or you see or face where you are, God's not going to be shocked and say, oh my goodness, I didn't know that that's where they were. He wants you to face and see where you are because God will meet you where you are in your prayer life and he will teach you. The Holy Spirit, who has been sent to us by Jesus, one of his roles is to be a teacher, to lead us into all truth. And one of the things, the most, one of the most important things he wants to lead us into is truth about our prayer relationship, our prayer fellowship with God the Father. Jesus told us to come to him and we can ask him anything in Jesus' name. And we have the confidence of God's word to us that he will hear us. So I want to talk this week to you about prayer, about your own personal prayer life and praying in your families, for your families, for the church and for what this world is going through right now. Because it is so critical that we learn as the body of Christ, we really learn how to pray. So again, today it starts with just facing where you are and acknowledging it. It's not a very important part of my life. Or maybe it is. And maybe God wants to lead you into another area of prayer or help some other people with prayer. Wherever you are, the beginning this week is to just acknowledge where you are. And we're going to ask the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray with you right now and ask the Holy Spirit to just open our eyes and see, to be honest with ourselves, about what prayer really means to us. So, Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. I thank you for everyone that's watching today. And, Lord, you've called us to come to you, not because you're angry at us and not because you want to judge us, but you need us to come to you and to seek you and ask you to do things you already want to do. So it begins, Lord, I believe, by helping us to face where we really are. There are many of us out there, Lord, that prayer is not that important to us. And I believe that's because we don't really have confidence that you're listening and that you'll answer our prayers because we acknowledge we have needs. We clearly have needs in this time we're living in now. And so, Father, help us to face where we are, to recognize that you're not angry at us. You already know. And that when we face where we are, your grace will be there to help move us along the process of growing in our prayer life with you. Thank you that you've given us the Holy Spirit to help us and enable us to do that. And for this, we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 
and amen. So let's let God work in you today as you face situations at home and wherever you are and you see needs. Ask yourself, is this something I should really be talking to God about or am I trying to handle this on my own? Well, we'll pick up here tomorrow and I just believe God's going to lead us by the end of this week to have a much stronger prayer life together as families, as individuals, and as a church. God bless you and we'll see you again tomorrow.